What's going on you guys, this is all Danny Day one on the PS4 and I'm going to be giving you a video on Division 2's final raid boss. This boss took us so long, but you know, we figured out what we needed to do, the mechanics and everything, and then once reset happened for the weekly reset, we ended up coming through the raid, completing the first three bosses within maybe 15-ish, 20, 15 of 20 minutes I want to say, and then we got to the boss and it took us about maybe 3-4 hours to beat it. But Overall, the mechanics and the strategy that we did I think is probably going to help out a lot of players and it's not a really hard raid to do honestly, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and go straight into it and let's go. So first things first is what you're going to want to do is probably clear out the ads from the top because you know it's if you do go down, you can have someone easily pick you back up and you can easily get ammo too. So if you have a sniper or just any other weapon other than like an SMG or anything, then it's probably something you're going to want to use. So clearing out the ads here first is definitely going to be very useful because when you get to, when you drop down, they won't automatically spawn out, but they will spawn out when you do go on a circle. So you want to hold off going on a circle as soon as you drop down. So there's going to be four different circles and there's four different numbers, four different mortars. They all are labeled one, two, three, and four. One being on the bottom left, two being on the top left, three being on the top right, and then four being on the bottom fo uh, bottom right. You need to make sure you have designated players or designated members on these different different sides. So when it comes to the platforms or the circles or the pods, whatever you want to call them, we just call them circles. You want to have everyone make sure they're ready so you would announce is everyone ready and then they would say yes or here or one two three whichever and then have one person the designated person count down three two one on and then everyone gets on now you don't want to automatically go on the circles though you want to make sure you go on the circles after you defeat the heavy enemy the heavy is going to spawn at one of the four sides so he's going to spawn at either one right behind the mortar of one two three or four it's going to be right behind the mortars it's not going to be anywhere else so you need to keep an eye out on that and if you do call if you do see it just say heavy on one heavy on two heavy on three or heavy on four generally you want to have the two people that are on that side working on it and then one other person from either either or on different sides working on it as well so when that happens after you defeat the heavy have everyone go to their circle on the outside of the ring and just say is everyone ready three two one on and everyone's on wait till the countdown is up to 100 once it hits 100 do not leave the circle you leave the circle mortars are going to hit this ring and whoever's on it is going to get hit and take a lot of damage they won't get killed but they will take a lot of damage now what you want to do is there's going to be a vent that opens up with the vent that opens up you want to have someone using a crossbow. So generally what we did was we had six players using crossbow and then two players that were using sharpshooter because we didn't necessarily need all eight players using sharpshooter or ne necessarily using um, the crossbow or survivalist. That's what the class is called. So having six players on survivalist is going to be useful because using the crossbow, one person using the crossbow on the vent will automatically break it and then the other person is going to be throwing a grenade at it so make sure you get that ready as soon as you see your number the percentage at around 80 to 90 percent get your crossbow out get your grenade out and get ready to throw it and shoot it because these drones are going to spawn out when these drones spawn out you need to make sure you get them down so having two or three or even four players using an emp pulse is going to be very useful on that if you have even one person with kind of like a skill build mixed with a high damage to elites build so something where they can survive and also put out enough damage while having a quick cooldown on their emp pulse is going to be very useful for those for that type of situation because these these uh drones hit really hard they hit in a burst fire of four shots but they also drop down in a squad of four and they like i said they will focus fire they will hit hard they don't hit hard necessarily individually but when they all hit you at once you can get you can get dropped very quickly so this whole encounter basically is not timed or anything like it is on buddy and lucy and on but uh, boomer because boomer is about every five minutes he destroys a, a turret and when both turrets are down 
it's game over. And with Buddy and Lucy, you have six and a half minutes before they're completely enraged and just you get wiped. And then the last one or the second boss isn't necessarily timed either. But um, yeah, you can do this. You can do this final boss. You can do Razorback with no time limit. You can keep doing it for hours and hours on this without dying. But the thing is, the more you do it, the more the dogs will spawn as well. Because dogs, or you can call it, I guess, robot dogs or Robocop dogs, I don't know. I, we just call them dogs. But purple and yellow dogs will spawn out, and they will spawn out back to back eventually if the longer you take. So you generally don't want to take a very long time fighting these, uh, fighting the boss, but you don't have to rush it. So if you rush it, it could result in getting wiped. But if you take your time a little too long you could still end up getting wiped now what i want to also mention is after you complete a damage encounter make sure you guys have some type of room for cleanups and what i mean by cleanups is after you do an encounter and you know that you don't have enough players that are ready like maybe there's been one side that has too many ads and you guys need to kill them or if someone needs a pickup like as you can see right here i needed to get a pickup you can uh, call out for cleanup and everyone has to call out or you know once you call out cleanup that means everyone knows not to go to the nodes everyone knows to clear out ads and focus on ads get ammo and get whatever it is you need because you know you're, you don't have unlimited ammo so you might need to get that but generally you want to be able to get this back to back so after you do a damage phase go straight into it again and then get another damage phase going on but yeah, that's pretty much it with that part, and let's go on to the next. Alright, so up next is going to be the damage phase. This is going to be the most important part because this is going to be the most chaotic part. If your team cannot get to the damage phase, then you more than likely will not be able to complete this because it's basically this rinse and repeat over and over and over until you get the boss to half or, or about half. Because once you get him to half, or the Razorback, whatever it is, then it's going to spawn out two tanks or two heavies and you got to make sure you are on top of that calling out where and yeah where the tank is or the heavy is but when it comes to the damage phase you're going to have the people on two and three oh, but yeah two and three they're going to be taking care of ads they're going to be taking care of drones mainly drones the people on one and four they're going to be doing damage on the front side and what I mean by the front side is where you can see the wings. It's basically where the entrance is. That's where 1 and 4 is. So they are doing damage to the wings. The wings are on the outside. There's like a little square that you can see. And um, you'll see it sometime in this video where the wing is that we end up shooting at. But you'll see everyone's going to be shooting on the right side first. And then everyone goes to the left after the right side is de uh, destroyed. What you could do also, but we didn't do this, is have two people shoot on both sides the right side and the left side but it just takes longer it takes more I guess more tries rather than just getting one done and then getting the other done and then going into the next but what we did was we also made sure we got the left side down to a little bit so when we did another phase we would just break the left side and then go straight into damage phase and then after we did the front side we went to the back side so the back side is where the next damage phase is so that's where numbers three and four or numbers two and three is going to be at so numbers two and three is going to be doing the damage to the boss this time and then numbers one and four will be doing damage to the ads that will be taking care of the ads and the drones now when it comes to doing the actual damage which means the the centerpiece i suppose it's just like the giant centerpiece on the razorback everyone's going to be working on it and now after you complete all that, there's going to be one more thing that everyone needs to do that everyone needs to make sure they know of doing. You got to make sure you go back to your mortars. So when you go back, you're going to be shooting at the console on the mortars. It's going to be a blue screen. When it starts blinking red, you need to shoot it. You have to use all your firepower as much as you can, both weapons maybe. Um, I ran with a double LMG, so I used both LMGs on it. and then. Yeah, that's just only going to happen after you've completed the damage phase on both sides though. Once you get the APC, or not APC, that's the Division 1, once you get Razorback down to nothing. 
then you're gonna end up going to the mortar make sure you go back to your specific mortar so if you are located at number two you stay at number two if you're located at one you go back to one and you need to just make sure you call out so you say blink on red or blink on one blink on two blink on three or blink on four they are not in any specific order they go in random orders so for us i think it started at three and then it went to um four no it started at four then three then one then two or three then four then one then two i just know that two was the last one because that's what we were but yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty much everything on this raid there are dogs like i said that spawn out um, if there's a purple dog, I would still highly recommend just going on the platform, making sure everyone's ready, and then counting 3, 2, 1 on. If there's a yellow dog, you can still do that, but be careful because the yellow dog can technically one-shot and it applies bleed as well. But what you can do, what's really nice with the dogs, is you can kind of save them for the drones. You can use them to EMP the drones and it'll keep the drones still. They won't do any damage. They'll be they'll be EMP'd for like a, maybe five seconds or so. So it's very helpful like that. But, you know, it's very risky because the both, both dogs can do a lot of damage. The sniper dog doesn't apply bleed, but it still hits hard. Yellow dog hits hard and applies bleed. But anyways, that's pretty much it with this whole video. If this helps you out, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comment section. And I'll try my best to help you guys out to the best of my ability. And um, yeah, hopefully we can get a speed run in as well for the PS4. And shoot for 30 minutes, possibly 20 minutes. But you know, it just takes a lot of training. It's going to take us a lot of runs to get used to it. But overall, this tactic here that really worked well for us. It took us maybe about 20 something minutes, I want to say about 25 minutes to beat the uh, Razorback on this or on our last attempt. It took us about 25 minutes. But um, yeah, like I said, if this helped you out, go and leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is all Danny Day 1 on the PS4. Have a good day, good night, and enjoy the rest of the clip.